I bid you welcome. Hey everyone, welcome to Monster Kid Theater. I'm your host, Rich Savage, coming to you from the world-famous Monster Kid Studios. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is it. This is the big night, the night us monster fans look forward to all year long. It's finally here. And we've got a great show lined up for you tonight. We've got White Zombie starring Bela Lugosi. We've got an all-new Monster Kid Top 5. And we're going to be checking out some Halloween cocktail recipes a little later on, so stick around for that. Before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for alerts, leave some comments, hit the like button, because tonight one of you lucky subscribers is going to win a complete set of Universal Monsters Bendems. That's right, Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Creature will be on their way. We're going to pick somebody at random, so make sure you subscribe. Now, as for tonight's film, White Zombie, made in 1932 and directed by Victor Halperin, White Zombie finds Bela Lugosi as voodoo master Murder Lejeune, who commands a legion of zombies who operate a sugar cane mill. Now, this film was made more than 30 years before George Romero introduced his flesh-eating zombies in Night of the Living Dead. Now, these zombies featured tonight are more of the traditional sort. They're the result of voodoo potions and rituals, and they're used as slaves, and they're controlled by their master. In this case, Bela Lugosi's Murder Lejeune. Now, Lugosi was at the height of his popularity when he made this film. He'd already produced Dracula and Murders in the Room Morgue, prompting film historians to wonder why he'd take a role in such a low-budget film at this point in his career. But as always, Lugosi's performance elevates the film, and it's now considered to be one of his finest roles. Now, from 1932, Bela Lugosi in White Zombie. Happy Halloween, everyone. Dead bodies. So they dig the graves 
in the middle of the road. Their people pass all of the time. Well, that's a cheerful introduction for you to our West Indies. <laughs> You know where is the house of Monsieur Beaumont? Why did you drive like that, you fool? We might have been killed. Worse than that, monsieur. We might have been caught. Caught? By whom? Those men you spoke to? They are not men, monsieur. They are dead bodies. Dead? Yes, monsieur. Zombies. The living dead. Corpses taken from their graves. Were made to work. The sugar mill. The fields. back on the road there. We uh, stopped to speak to some men. Our driver told us they weren't men at all. He said they were corpses. Corpses. Surely you don't believe it, do you? No. <laughs> I don't know. Katie is full of nonsense and superstition. They're always mixed up with a lot of mysteries that turn your hair gray. I've been a missionary here for, oh, 30 years. And at times, I don't know what to think. Come, let's go in the house. Oh, yes. Huh? Come, then. Is, uh, is Mr. Beaumont in? You're expected, Dr. Bruno. <laughs> yes, I, I've been sent for to marry someone. <laughs> Maybe here. Uh... <laughs> oh, yes. Excuse me. Uh, it's, uh, how long is it that you know Mr. Beaumont? Oh, only a few days. Uh, Madeline introduced him on the docks in Port-au-Prince. 
Oh, and you? I met him on the ship coming from New York. He was very kind during the voyage. So Madeline and I planned to be married the moment she arrived. But Mr. Beaumont persuaded us to come here. And he promised to take me out of the bank at Fort Hall Prince and send me to New York as his agent. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. You... I'll tell Mr. Beaumont you're here. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it, Doctor? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> you see, I... I've only met Mr. Beaumont once or twice. <laughs> but... <laughs> but he never struck me like a man that would take the trouble to play a fairy godfather to a young couple like you. Unless... Unless what, sir? <sighs> I suppose you'll think I'm a meddling old fool, but... You know, I'd feel a good deal better if you'd clear out of this place after you're married and have nothing more to do with Mr. Bowman. The young people have arrived, sir, and Dr. Bruner. They're waiting in the reception hall. Show them to their room and tell them I'm out. Yes. No, wait. Perhaps I'd better see them. It might look odd if I didn't. Very odd, sir. Especially as Dr. Bruner is a trifle skeptical as to your motives, sir. Never mind my motives. Has that other person sent word yet? No, sir, not yet. He's 24 hours late. I wish you'd keep away from that man, sir. He'll make trouble for you. You needn't worry about that. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not easily frightened, sir. You should know that. But what you're planning is dangerous. Don't you suppose I know that, Silver? You don't seem to realize what this girl means to me. Why, I'd sacrifice anything I have in the world for her. Nothing matters if I can't have her. I think, uh, I think you like Haiti. Uh, most people that... Oh, Madeline, I'm delighted to see you. Neil, you're more than welcome. Thank you, sir. Doctor, it was very kind of you to come. I know what a busy man you are. No, no, not at all. There's a, there's a native family live out here that I've been trying to see for a long time. After this young couple are safely married, <laughs> I'll leave. But surely you'll stay for dinner after the ceremony. No, no, no. No, I must run along. Well, that's a great pity. We had something very special prepared for this occasion. It was very good of you, Madeline, to humor the whim of a lonely man. There was so little time to prepare. I couldn't do half the things I wanted to for you. you. You've done more than enough already, Mr. Beaumont, for a comparative giving Neil a position in the state. Neil? Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sure Neil will make a very good agent. But you must be tired after your drive. You'll get some rest. Silver! Silver will show you to your rooms. This way, please.
delighted to see you again, Monsieur Beaumont. Sorry that kept you waiting, monsieur. I have been on a journey, seeking men for my milk. Men, they work faithfully. They are not worried about long hours. You, you could make good use of men like mine on your plantation. No. That's not what I want. Then perhaps you wish to talk about the young lady who came to your house this evening. You've seen her? Where? On the road tonight. There was a young man. They're to be married tonight. You've waited too long to do anything. What do you want me to do? If she were to disappear for a month. What do you hope to gain by her disappearance? Everything. Everything. Do you think she will forget her lover in a month? Just give me a month. One little month. Not in a month. Not even a year. I have looked into her eyes. She is deep in love. But not with you. Let her be married within an hour. There must be a way. There is a way. Give me what I want, and you may ask anything. A flower. Make it. The time is very brief. You must do your share if I am to help you. Keep it, monsieur. Keep it. You may change your mind. Send me word when you use it. I'll find another way. There is. Close it. Close it. Mary. 
Edmund, down. Okay, I think it's time to take a quick break for another Monster Kid Top 5. Tonight's Monster Kid Top 5, we're going to be counting down the Top 5 all-time Halloween movies. Number 5, Night of the Demons. A full moon, a spooky, deserted mansion, Halloween night. All right, dudes! And it does it. <laughs> That's pretty! Ten kids. All they want to do is raise a little hell. Now, as long as they live, They'll wonder what's gotten into them. Night of the Demons. Blessed be the sinners, for the Day of Atonement is at hand. Stop looking at me! Number four, Halloween three, season of the witch. You don't really know much about Halloween. Halloween, the barriers will be down between the real and the unreal. And the dead might be looking in. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red. Halloween, the you happen to know anything about this Cochran? All I can tell you, mister, is watch out. Season He's watching you, friend, I guarantee you that. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Hey, Mr. Cochran, just what is the final process? Fellas, I was just kidding! Witchcraft. To us, it was a way of controlling our environment. Hey! <laughs> Where are they taking her? They're taking her to the factory. I want a mask. Can I have a mask? Uh, just what I had in mind for you, little buddy. Why, Cochran? Why? Do I need a reason? I've got nothing here to indicate there was ever a body at all. Operator, this is an emergency. I do love a good joke, and this is the best ever. A joke on the children. I'm glad you'll be able to watch it. You've got to believe me! They're going to kill us. All of us. Stop it! Halloween. The world's going to change tonight, Doctor. Happy Halloween. Stop it! Halloween 3. Season of the Witch, the night no one comes home. Season of the Witch. Number three, scary stories to tell in the dark. What's that? It's her book of scary stories. Some people believe if we repeat stories often enough, they become real. They make us who we are. That can be scary. Eat it. 
Harold. Do you want to see Haunted House? Some kids went missing, so they boarded it up. OK, we saw it. Should we go now? Who ordered the chicken? That. It's a book of scary stories. Tell me a story. Hey, what's going on? Tommy's missing. Tommy's name was in the book. There's no way it's actually connected, right? Okay, what if what happens in the book is exactly what's happened for real? Oh my god. Stella! Listen, you're in the next story. We're reading it right here. It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. <laughs> I'm afraid that we woke something up. You shouldn't have taken the book. We've got to stop it. Sarah Bellows' book, where the stories write themselves and it all comes alive. The Jangling Man is coming. Number two, trick or treat. Uncharted territory. And totally charted. Just talk. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm -hmm. The only reason she babysits is to have a 
Halloween. Okay, that's our top five. Leave comments below let us know about your top five all-time Halloween movies. Maybe we left something out. In the meantime, let's get back to Bela Lugosi and White Zombie. There's time even yet, dear. I can make you the envy of every woman. I'll give my life to make you happy. Oh, listen to me, dear, before it's too late. Don't. Please. Don't go into that room. We can be in Port of Prince in half an hour. There's a boat sailing at midnight. And... You've been so wonderful. Don't spoil everything now. One last gift before I lose you forever. We are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man, this woman, in holy matrimony. Faith.
A toast to the bride, to beauty's queen. Gladly, my lord. Leave but a kiss within the glass. Fair gypsy, leave my fortune. What do you see in the glass? I see... happiness. I see... love. Far more than you deserve. Is that all? No. I see...
zombies. Yes. They are my servants. Did you think we could do it alone? In their lifetime, they were my enemies. I go the witch doctor. Once my master. Secrets I tortured out of him. Bangerda does wine, swollen with riches. He fought against my spells until the last. Him, yes, I have trouble, Heinrich. His Excellency Richard, once Minister of the Interior. Garcia, brigand chief. Marquis, captain of gendarmerie. And this, this is Chauvin. I, executioner, who almost executed me. I took them, just as we will take this one. But what if they regain their souls? They will tear me to pieces. And that, my friend, shall never be. There's two explanations to strike me. Either the body was stolen by members of a death cult that use human bones in their ceremonies, or else... Or else what? She's not dead. Not dead? Are you mad? I saw her die. The doctor signed a certificate. I saw them bury her. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not mad. But I've lived in these islands for a good many years. And I've seen things with my eyes. 
that made me think I was crazy. Their superstitions in Haiti that the natives brought here from Africa. Some of them can be traced back as far as ancient Egypt. And beyond that yet, in the countries that was old when Egypt was young. Yes, but what has that to do with Madeline? I kissed her as she lay there in the coffin. And her lips were cold. Let me explain. Now, just a minute. I'll explain. Wherever there is a superstition, you will find there is also a practice. Now, do you remember what your driver told you the night he took you to Beaumont's house? Oh, about those horrible creatures we saw. Yeah. He said they were corpses. Yeah. Taken from their grave. That's it. Now, wait. Now, that's the superstition. Now, for the practice. The ghouls that steal the dead corpses from the graves are supposed to put them there in the first place. Do you mean that Madeline was murdered so that somebody could steal her dead body? Ah, nonsense. No, no. Not her, not her, uh, her body, yes, but not her dead body. That's what I mean. Well, surely you don't think she's alive in the hands of natives? Oh, no, better dead than that. Uh, excuse me, please, have you got a match? You don't believe that, do you? Say, there's been lots of people that's been pronounced dead that came alive again and lived for years. Now, if, it's, if nature can play pranks like that, why isn't it possible to play pranks with nature? Oh, I don't know. Your driver believed he saw dead men walking. He didn't. What he saw was men alive in everything but this and this. Oh, the whole thing has me confused. I just can't understand it. Uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I've been trying for years to get to the bottom of this thing. To separate what you call fact from fiction. The law, the law of Haiti acknowledges the possibility of being buried alive. Here it is in the penal code. I'll read it for you. It's in French. Do you speak French? No. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Have you got a match? Hey, right here. Here's one. Oh, thanks. I didn't see it. <coughs> I'll translate it for you, if you should fit it. Article, Article 149. The use the use of drugs or other practices which produce lethargic coma or lifeless sleep shall be considered attempted murder. Yes. Attempted. Yes, I see. Yeah. All right. All right. If the person has been buried alive, the act should be considered murder, no matter what result follows. Beaumont. Say, you said that you couldn't understand why he was so interested in us. Do you think he did this? No. No, I think it's native work. Native work, exactly. Of course, if you want to, we can go to Beaumont's house first. If I can get my hands on the devil that's responsible for this, I'll make him such an example that every witch doctor in Haiti will be shaken in his sandals. But we can't do this alone. Can't the authorities help? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Neil, my boy. You don't know these islands. The native authorities are afraid to meddle. I'm not. I got friends among the natives. They'll tell me things that no gendarme could ever get out of. Because I'm a preacher, they think I'm a magician. Before we get through with this thing, we may uncover sins that even the devil would be ashamed of. Oh, these witch doctors.
foolish things. They can't bring back the light to those eyes. I was mad to do this. But if you'd have smiled on me, I'd have done anything for you, given you anything. I thought that beauty alone would satisfy. But the soul is gone. I can't bear those empty, staring eyes. Oh, forgive me, Madeline, forgive me. I can't bear it any longer. I must take you back. Back to the grave, monsieur? No. You must put the light back into her eyes and bring laughter to her lips. She must be gay and happy again. You paint a charming picture, monsieur. One that I should like to see myself. You must bring her back. I'm your driver for him. Monsieur, how do you suppose those eyes will regard you when the brain is able to understand? Better to see hatred in them than that dreadful emptiness. Perhaps you're right. It would be a pity to destroy such a lovely flower. Let's drink to the future of this flower. A glass of wine. Silver, bring wine. We have a toast to drink. the future, monsieur. Only a pinpoint, monsieur, in a flower, or perhaps a glass of wine. What are you trying to do to me? I have other plans for Mademoiselle. I'm afraid you might not agree. I have taken a fancy to you, Monsieur. Silver! Silver! <laughs>
the future, monsieur. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying White Zombie. Now, as promised, as you can see, I've got some special Halloween cocktail recipes. If you're like me, that means these things are good for just about any time of the year. <laughs> now, this here is just my uh, basic scotch on the rocks, but the cool part is the rocks are my Mrs. Monster Kid special spider cubes, which help jazz up the drink a little bit. And, uh, oh. Not bad. Now, these here are black magic jello shots. We're going to try these first. These are uh, blueberry and grape jello, and uh, vodka and black sand sugar sprinkled on the top, which is uh, pretty delicious. So let's try this out. Mmm. Don't watch it, it's going to turn you off. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that's good. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to have another one of these. Mmm, black magic jello shots. Not bad. Made with vodka. Plenty of it from the taste. Not too shabby. Let's see what's up next. Here we have Voodoo Punch. There's Sprite, ginger ale, raspberry syrup, and vodka in the drink. And there's raspberry syrup in here in this bad boy, so you can just. Take a shot here. Let's uh, mm. yep, I'm cured. That did it. Delicious. Let's try this guy out. Mm. That's good. Voodoo punch. Mm. Perfect for tonight's movie. Too bad uh, Murder Legion didn't have some of this sitting around. Maybe, you know, he'd have been a nicer person <laughs> if he had some voodoo punch. This is delicious. Mm. That's a treat that's tough to beat right there. Okay, next up, we have Black Magic Margarita. Look at there. That's the elixir of life right there. Of course, it's made with tequila and triple sec. Got a little salt around the rim, some limes in there. Mmm, let's try it out. Let's see what we got. Wait, let's get some of that ice out of the way. Get out of here, you. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Just put plenty of uh, tequila in here. Mmm, black magic margarita. Delicious. I'll have to finish this one. Of course, you know, right after the other jello shot, I have my voodoo punch. <laughs> I'll have to finish this one off. Mm. That is delicious. That is so good. Now, next up, and last on our list, we have some Witch's Brew cocktail right here. A little cherry floating around in there. You can see all these drinks are purple. They got purple and green. And they're just perfect for the holiday and they go well with our monster kid logo so that's really a i think that's just a bonus so this has vodka in it mm, sugar on the rim wow that is really good black magic witches brew let me try to Black Magic Margarita again. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Oh, get the lime out of there. Oh. That is really good. Whoop. We 
have our black magic jello shot, which was phenomenal. We've got our voodoo punch. The shot was really good with the raspberry in it. Delicious. Black magic margarita. This is just uh, this is just so good. I love margaritas, so this is right up my alley. And which is brew cocktail, which is phenomenal. And you can't lose with any of these drinks. Now, if you'd like to try any of these delicious Halloween cocktails yourself, I'll provide the uh, links and uh, recipes in the show description below. And uh, I think now, while I finish these drinks, we'll watch the exciting conclusion to White Zombie. Why 
Maybe she's arrested. Perhaps she remembers something. Never remember anything when they are like that. No. He's caught. He's cut off. Can you still hear me? It is unfortunate you are no longer able to speak. I should be interested to hear you describe your symptoms. the first man to know what is happening. None of the others did. You refused to shake hands once, I remember. Well, well. We understand each other better now.
Madeline. Madeline. I found you. You're alive. Alive. What's the matter? It's I, Neil. Oh, my darling. What have they done to you? Don't you know me, dear? It's Neil. I could swear. For a moment, she recognized you. Come on, don't let him get away. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Have you got a match? Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Monster Kid Theater. I hope you enjoyed White Zombie and I hope you're having a great Halloween, a great scary Halloween. I know I am, thanks to these Halloween cocktails and this, check it out, Mrs. Monster Kid made a Monster Kid chocolate cake just for Halloween. It's so good. So until next episode of Monster Kid Theater, 
This is Rich Savage saying I'll see you there. Happy Halloween, everybody.